In this video, I'll show you these really cool products by this company called Rising Link. You can get this on Amazon. This is the only two products that they sell on Amazon. And they uh, either tell you if you have a high water situation, if you have a dock and you live on the water, or this one tells you if you've lost power to your house. The way they work is unbelievably simple. This one you just plug into a power source and then you press these buttons in a particular sequence that is explained in the instructions, very easy. It connects to your Wi-Fi through your phone, or actually your phone connects to the Wi-Fi from this unit and then links it to the Wi-Fi in your home. And then it brings up a very basic form where you can put in your phone number up to two, your email addresses up to two, and then you name this thing. I've called it um, high water slash power detector because uh, it sends texts from the same phone number, whether it's the high water alarm or the no power alarm. It'll send you a text that says power off. And then when the power comes back on, it'll send you a text that says power on. Uh, if you want to track or be aware of your power outages, if you have pets at home or if you're away on vacation for any period of time, this is fantastic. Um, rather than trying to troubleshoot like what's going on with my Wi-Fi system, what's going on with my cameras, I just know that the house doesn't have power for that period of time. So relatively inexpensive. I think this was like $49 and uh, very, very useful. Okay, that's the first one. The second one, uh, as you know, if you watch my channel, we had a pretty bad flood here in Cape Coral. And uh, just the other uh, week or two, uh, Debbie blew through and the water came about six to eight inches over the dock. And if I had some kind of warning, I was out of town, I could have got my son and my son-in-law over here earlier to pick up the dock boxes off of the dock. I was not able to do that and I ended up having you know dock boxes that were full of water and uh, little things that floated away. But by positioning this, and I'll take you outside and show you where I'm going to put it, this hooks into your Wi-Fi, it's battery powered, and this would be mounted onto the piling, and when the water exceeds a certain level and lifts the float for five minutes straight, it sends you a text saying, high water. When it drops down, it sends you another text saying, uh, normal water, or... I forget what it says, but it tells you that the water is no longer high. And if you position this just right, my position, my just right position is about six to eight inches below the top of the dock. That way I will know when it's reached the bottom of the dock and I'll be able to react fast enough before it gets over the planks. It's very good information to have so I can start watching it through my cameras or send somebody over to help me out. Um, I switched out to these Enloop Pro batteries because they are just so much better. They won't leak and corrode inside here compared to the garbage that they send you with it. You do need mounting screws for uh, this, and this little holder is sold separately. Um, this one's a little bit more money. I think it's about $150. Uh, I'm going to have to drill holes in here to mount it because they want you to mount it with zip ties, and the pilings are too big for, for zip ties. But... Um, that's all there is to it. Uh, the battery is supposed to last for several uh, years, potentially, because it barely uses any power at all. Uh, once it goes into standby mode, it's not really using any power until this thing is tripped. And then all it does is send a quick signal to text you during your Wi-Fi or, or through your Wi-Fi. That's all there is to it. Unbelievably basic, smart equipment that works. Anyway. I'm going to go install this stuff and I'll show you where I put it. And uh, so far it's been working fantastic. Uh, this has been working fantastic and I've tested this a few times. Really, really great product if you want to be aware of this stuff. Here's a close up of the inside of this box. Uh, this is where the high water switch interrupt comes in. And then these are the buttons. There's lights over here, no different than the buttons on the other unit. They're just all sealed in because this is designed to be mounted outside. This battery obviously goes right in there after I finish
finish messing with this. This is a close-up of what this looks like. It's all stainless steel. And, um, you know, there's some complaints on their uh, website that people don't understand how this works. So if the waves are splashing and this is going like this, it's not going to send you an alarm. It has to be fully up for five minutes before it'll send you a signal. And then it has to be fully down for five minutes before it'll send you a signal that the water's low or normal. That makes sense in my mind. Evidently, some people don't think that makes sense. The last thing you want is, you know, 1500 texts as it's just slapping waves against this. Uh, because they didn't make this where you can screw it in, I think I'm gonna drill two little small holes, one here, one here, maybe I'll do uh, four holes so that I can screw this to the piling. Maybe I'll put the screw holes right here so that way I only need two. That's what I'll probably do. Okay, off to mount it. First, I'll show you the texts. This is power off and then power on. And then here's the emails, what they look like. Power on and power off. Pretty this straightforward. Where we keep our internet stuff and these are some various hubs that control things throughout the house, but this is a battery backup that powers the Wi-Fi in case of a power failure, so we can still have full Wi-Fi with no power. It also will kick on faster than the generator, so it kicks on fast enough where there is no interruption. The reason why I'm showing you this is because this is the thing that uh, detects loss of power. It needs to be plugged in to a outlet that is not powered by the battery, obviously, so it knows when you really do get, or really do lose power. So just keep that in mind if you have one of these battery backups on your Wi-Fi system. Here's where I decided to put it on this piling because there's so much going on on this piling. I put it on this side also because this side gets direct sun and I figured it'd be better off if that didn't beat in the sun all day. Uh, there's the float right down there, and that gives me about eight inches of warning. And um, I had to reroute this hose, just move it over a little bit to make it fit. And also I wanted to clear the antenna. I had it mounted over here, and that's not going to work because I would snag it with my shore power cord that goes over to charge my flats boat. Anyway, I think it came out nice. Works great. I set the uh, text tone for the Death Star battle siren, which is appropriate. And if I ever hear that, I will know that there is a problem. The water's coming up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you like this kind of stuff. If you do, please subscribe. I post new random videos all the time. See you next time.